everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase. Two store exclusives from two different stores. All the same brand, of course. It is Hot Wheels. I've got Zamac over on this side from Walmart. I have Red Editions over on this side from Target. I have some good friends here in Utah that were able to find both of these sets for me because I wasn't able to get out into the stores. They were, got lucky. I said, hey, if you guys will pick up a set for me, I will definitely showcase them on the video. So thank you, Mike and Ace, UT underscore Mike and UT underscore Ace on Instagram if you guys want to follow them. They're cool dudes. And I said, let's add these to the collection. I actually collect all, I'll move these over to the side, um, of the Zamax and all of the Red Editions. I figure it's, and these have been around a lot longer, the Zamax and the Red Editions, and there's 18 a year from Walmart versus 12 a year from Target. But I figure collecting these, they were always released in threes, um, allows me to have a nice cross section of cool cars. Some I actually will buy extras of, like the Subaru, for example, um, to add into my actual Hot Wheels collection, just, you know, because I do collect the 22B. Um, but that's kind of how I like to do it. I figure, you know, I may not always collect the Nova, for example, or is that the Chevelle, um, or this Corvette, or this McLaren, for that matter, or that Chevelle. Um, so this is, allows me to at least have one of them by doing the, uh, the red editions and the Zamax. So I'm going to add all three of the Zamax and all three of the red editions to my collection, but let's open them up and take a look at them. We'll start from the back. We'll start with the red editions. And, uh, like I said, these have just, these have been in target for a couple weeks. The Zamax really just started showing up this week. 68 Shelby GT 500. This is number 7 of 12. I don't know if these are in order, but that doesn't matter. Um, Shelby GT500, before I get to them, I did bring out some cars that I liked. There's a lot of classic Mustang castings that Hot Wheels has done over the years. This particular one, the 68 Shelby, is one that I really, really like. Now, I've always said that the, uh, the Boss, the 69 and 70 Boss that we started in vintage racing is my favorite, and that remains the uh, the case, but this one's very nice. But I only have three of them. I actually have the, the first edition, the three, the three colors of the first edition, and I'm actually going to move backwards because this car has been a Zamac before. This was several years ago. You can see it has kind of a stock look, not the colors, of course, but the striping is very stock. And you have this really nice Zamac version of the Mustang. The, that was the third version. The second version was probably the most standard because it was in red with the side striping in the GT500 uh, Deco. Is that, a, is that a Cobra on the side? I can't tell. Um, on this one, because so, you know, it says Shelby there on the front nose. You can see it very clear there. Really like that version too because it's so clean in red. But the version to me, and I think this is one of the best Hot Wheels Mustangs ever made. And if you're looking to like have some cool cars from the past in your collection, you don't have it, check this beauty out. This was the first issue in pearl white with gold trim, this crazy gold interior, and the gold lace rims. I think this one, there's the Shelby in gold there on the front nose too. I think this one is one of the coolest looking Mustangs because just for the, the, ca the casting is great, of course, but this color combination is fantastic. So I get to add a fourth of the 68 Shelby. I haven't collected it since because I like those three versions there. Figured that was good enough, but here's the fourth because it joins the red editions. You can see it looks good in white, another white one, obviously the flames, not into the flames as much, but it doesn't matter. It says red edition on the card. It goes in the collection. Red rims are nice, I guess, you know, whatever. Uh, so those are cool. Next one. Custom Auto, I do not have one to show you from uh, the past. Not a casting I collect, but a cool nostalgic casting, kind of a tribute uh, to uh, Auto the designer. I can't remember his last name. See, that's what see, the old school collectors are going to get me for that one, and I deserve it. Um, but this one is very, very cool, and it's nice to finally have one. Like I said, I don't have a Custom Auto. Now I do. Um, looks good in red, white stripes. Don't know what else to say about this one, but cool nostalgic ca casting. Nice to have it in the collection. And last, I think this is the one that interests the Lamley viewers, I think, the most is the McLaren P1. I did bring out, I only have one in the collection. Actually, no, I have two. I take that back because I'm looking up at my wall. There's one in uh, car culture, modern classics, right? There's one in modern classics. And I think that, I don't know, unless I'm forgetting one in a different series, um, the only one I have is actually the very first issue 
in burnt orange with the uh, dark gray rims. And I figured this is a signature color of the P1. I really like the color combination. In fact, this, I like that this one has the trim on the back and the headlights on the front. Not real keen on how big the rear wheels are on this one, and that's what's kept me from it. Uh, I like a lot of the McLaren castings, but uh, this one, this one's okay. Not at the top of my list, but I like that burnt orange. It's a nice one to have. And again, this one goes into the Red Editions collection, so there you go. I like it in white. I like the fact that uh, I like when they do these exclusives that are plain looking. So this one is white with the red trim. It does have the rear uh, detailing and the front detailing, so... I'm happy with this one. They've done several other colors. I think they've always kept this car, for the most part, pretty plain. That might be at McLaren's request. No complaints from me on that. Those are the red additions. We'll add them to the collection. I don't know um, how many now. We can go through that. To, I have them in one uh, case so far, but obviously we're getting close to filling that up, so we'll have to move on. But let's get to the Zamax. I did a video on the Zamax, I think when I did the, when I showcased the Bugatti, I think, um, where I went through all of the Zamax, and that was a tedious video. It took a lot of work. Um, but, uh, so I'm not going to do that today, but you can go back and find that video if you want to. Let's get to the three Zamax. This one, major highlight for me. We'll save that for last, for me and for a lot of people, for a lot of reasons. We'll get to that. But we will start with this one. There are no slouches in this uh, run of three Zamax here. Just like the last one. What, Bugatti? You can see right there, Bugatti. I can't, is that the Nova Cheval? You guys are going to kill me for that one. And the Porsche. Really nice trio there for a lot of different reasons. This one is up there as well. 64 Chevy Nova Wagon from the Hot Wheels Flame Series. You know, they will take a basic deco. And I can't remember what color this one debuted in this year and then just act, just go raw and then just put the deco on top of it in a different color. Really dig it in the green, like that it sits on the steelies, really, really cool casting. This is a super treasure hunt, I think with flames on it as well several years ago. It was also, uh, was it a Kroger? No, it was a Toys R Us exclusive in black with flames as well. So this one gets the Walmart treatment, which is very, very cool. Second one, this one's number, I can't even tell, is that eight, is that what it says? 87 Dodge D100, Brandon Vitusky's casting, one of his many, including the 55 Bel Air and the Big Air Bel Air. This one looks great in the K&N uh, deco. I love that they put the vintage Hot Wheels logo on the back, you know, with the Mattel to the side. Another, ca I've got, a, I saved a couple of these castings in my collection. I probably should have brought out some of the previous ones, but uh, that one looks great. I love how it sits high in the front, that reverse rake on there. That's just a very, very cool casting, and it looks amazing in Zamac. All of these, I mean, that's one of the great things, that Walmart cornered the market on the Zamac because they just look cool. Every casting looks cool when it goes raw, and that applies to this one. How about that? 98 Subaru Impreza 22B STI version. This created a big buzz when it was released earlier this year in the first mix in Mix A. Gosh, that seems a long time ago. Remember that? Man. Anyway, so it goes Zamic. I brought out the first uh, two colors. Obviously, it had to be released in blue with the gold wheels. That is the signature color um, and looks great. And then they released the second in this kind of burnt red. Nice, nice and clean. Not as good as the blue. But we get gold rims and Zamac here with the front and rear trim. And I have a special place in my heart for these uh, stock-looking, quote-unquote, uh, meaning no graphics on the side that don't apply to the car, right? Um, but I have a special place in my heart for these particular Zamax. You know, you can go back. You can't really see them here, but uh, the Audi was released that way, the Acura. You can go all the way back to the Ferrari uh, Berlinetta, and I think in the first year that they did Zamax, there's a ton of them, Dodge Demon, that were released like this. And the Subaru also applies, and it looks great with gold rims, rear trim, it's just a winner through and through, and one of the best Zamax. I know the Bugatti will probably take the cake as the uh, best Zamax, and it probably deserves to, but I think the Subaru is up there, and there's some good ones coming too, right? Isn't there a McLaren Senna and some others? So, you guys tell me what you think. That adds to the collection. That is number 789 or something like that. So we've got nine more to do uh, this year from Hot Wheels and Walmart. 
That, those are, oh, I just love adding these cards to the collection. Many thanks to Mike and Ace for that. I've got some good stuff coming up. I'm going to do this police series. Ace found that for me. Uh, there's three other cars in that. We'll do that. Um, I've got Tomic Limited Vintage Mini GT. I'm even going to dig into the uh, Flying Customs. I finally updated these. And I'm going to have the new mix with the Tussin. So I'll do that as well. So stay tuned for those. Thanks, everybody. Bye.